gone 10 o'clock in the morning uh, on the Friday of Glastonbury Festival and I'm at Castle Kerry Railway Station awaiting the arrival of Boris Johnson, the editor of The Spectator. Well, he's still on the train, my mate knows him, he's still on the train. He's still on the train? It's on my life, honestly. Boris Johnson? Yeah, I saw him on the train. Not In the first class he was, was he? Yeah, coach, yeah. coach H, yeah. He didn't get off? Not to my knowledge, and I'm fairly certain he was still on there when the train pulled out. He's laughing. He's laughing, a little boy's chuckle. Ho, 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 I missed, I forgot to get off. So you're going to get off at Taunton and get on a train back to Castle Kerry, yeah? Hi. Voila, I'm sorry I'm late. Boris. How are you doing? Welcome to Castle Kerry, mate. What happened? What happened? I, I just, I don't know, I must have, um, now we're not recording this now, are we? Well, that is the telecamera, and this is the kind of like, you are, you are, oh, right. we I, are I, here. I, I see, okay, 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 okay. Well, I think I must have been in a trance. Did you have any, any conscious memory of coming through Castle Kerry the first time? No, no, I wasn't really, I was, I was, my trance-like state was induced by a deep meditation on an important leader in the Daily Telegraph. Oh, I see. Shepton Mallet. My brother used to go to Shepton Mallet every year. There's what to do? Maybe it was Glastonbury he used to go to. Boris, you won't keep saying that, will you? What? Glastonbury. Is he, say, now, what do you got to say? Glastonbury. Is he you Glastonbury want? or Glastonbury? Well, it depends where you come from, I guess. What? Right. Oh, what a right. I can't have bought my guitar. Damn it. Yeah, why didn't you? Because oh, I'm off duty. Do you do, you do any um, clash of numbers? Do you All do of them. Really? My daddy was a French robber. That's a good one. That's a very good one, isn't it? But in uh, that's a, it's, it's your sort of philosophy, isn't it? But he never hurt nobody, isn't it? I don't need drugs today, okay? I don't need. Can we just can we just point this out? Isn't that left wing? That's a sort of left wing approval of of of, uh, of theft from capitalists, isn't it? He never hurt nobody. That's his argument. Perhaps you can clear this up for us. Is, it, is the festival called? Now, what do you say? Do you say Glastonbury or Glastonbury? Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Thank you. Right. Yeah, Glastonbury is the hunting, shooting, fishing brigade. Right. place. We don't yeah. know where that place is. <laughs> group, Boris, group, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, look at this. What's this red-eyed pipes bombs here? Skins. Skins. What's that? Roll up. Roll up. We're in the henna tattoo tent now. We've, uh, with Boris and we're both having a having a henna tattoo. I'm having the Sagittarius sign. What are you having, Boris? I'm having respect. You're having what? Respect in Sanskrit. Good. Well, that is just just dandy. We got it. You can scrub it, brush it. Great. Thank you. Looks good, mate. Right? Good, isn't it? Yeah, it looks very good. Everyone you know speaks Sanskrit. We'll respect you now, Boris. Yeah. You know what we're doing next, don't you? What's in the what's next, Biddy? Ritual circumcision. Yeah. Now please put your hands together for someone, uh, David Tons and Glastonbury had never been to the festival before, arrived here about an hour ago, up until that time had been saying Glastonbury. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Boris Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, Boris Johnson. Put your fucking hat on. That cost me six quid. Uh, what could be more um, fitting at this Glastonbury Festival? The first and greatest poem in uh, Western literature, and it's called the Iliad. It goes like this: Hoga, Elphis the last of in there, Sacaius, Lusona, Lusominos de Fagatra, Perun Caparicia Poina. How much is that? Enough! 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 Exit on this. Exit. Oh, Christ. Oh, bloody hell. Now I'm surrounded by nudists now. This is uh, Richard. Yeah, Richard. yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? I fully support that you're right to be naked. I'm right behind it. Boys, have you ever gone naked anywhere? Yeah, I used to, yeah. Where? Yeah. My home, on the farm. I think what we're doing here is a quintessentially English Afternoon in summer. In it's, June. Fa it's fantastic. What do you? What do you? What do you? I feel at home here. What I do you tell you? I feel at home. I think these people represent a strong libertarian ideology. Yeah, I think they do too. Which you and I were both in In fact, yeah. I would say there were natural, a lot of natural Tories here. These people are taking their lives yep. into their own hands. And they have arrived here under yep. their own steam. And they're going to look they after have themselves. Yeah. Eighty-seven pounds. Yep. 
and they're going to they pitch their own tent. And they're going to look and after isn't themselves. Isn't that a metaphor? Yeah. For what conservatism is. Boris, right, so I wanted to bring you up here because this is the Stone Circle field, and uh, I just wanted you to notice that. There's no stalls up here. I just saw someone selling no. mushrooms. No. This yes. is capitalism, this is commerce. No. What you're looking at is the triumph of right-wing ideology. No, no. Let's just look at the economics of this. You feel it? We've got 120,000 people here. They're paying £87 a head for three days. That is... He jumps over the wall. OK, well, he's an entrepreneur. He's an honest, <laughs> he's an honest entrepreneur. He, he's a free... He's she's what? a worker. She's a worker. Okay, well, she's all. Did you pay me your ticket? Yeah, but I'm just boondoggling off the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody pay again? Well, in broad terms, you've got plus or minus 100,000 people. Each have paid 87 pounds. That is about 8 million quid. 8 million quid. That is a lot of money by anybody's standards. This is a capitalist extravaganza. A feast of humbug and hypocrisy in which lefties like Billy Bragg pretend they're doing it for the good. When of Boris their people says the words humbug and hypocrisy, but they are it's doing time to switch off money. Money. These people well, He's gone off the deep end. He's far off the deep end. This is Billy Bragg and Boris thousand. Johnson reporting from the glass of the festival. We're going to go away, find some magic mushrooms, and trip on down to the right. dance he's, he's been and, uh, and bang. Right. He's we're been intellectually bang. right. Come on, Boris. Come he's been intellectually right. 100,000 people each pay 87 pounds. Well, but that's capitalism, isn't it? It's a free market. <laughs> Oh, we got a very own version of uh, Sleeping with the Enemy. Uh, Boris Johnson, the editor of The Spectator, and uh, our own Billy Bragg. Apologies for the sound quality there. I'm sure Boris understands uh, uh, Tory cutbacks to uh, British broadcasting has meant that maybe the